Un Academy. Let's crack it. We welcome Dr. Mohit Gangrade, who has scored our FMG student, who has scored two hundred twenty-one marks out of three hundred in the recent FMG exam. We congratulate him through our entire Un Academy team. Congratulations, Mohit. How does it feel to be on the stage, on the platform? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your wishes. I feel very happy. and actually i feel really elated to be very precise and i didn't expect that i would score this much marks i wasn't even expecting this much but i think through hard work anything is possible no but i have seen you studying and i used always used to appreciate you the way you used to answer and all and i always have <laughs> told you that you will definitely get a good rank uh, you yes, I, what what i feel is that you should realize your qualities you should know and then you can put in efforts you'll surely gain success mohit you tell Very me true. something something about your uh, introduce yourself to our uh, students so hello my name is mohit kangrade i am a mbbs graduate from the ssr medical college of mauritius and um, i have done my schooling from the dav public school eroli and i hail from mumbai originally yeah So Mohit, how was your study strategy uh, throughout the year? How have you planned your studies? And uh, let let this be, you know, just tell, give some knowledge to the students. So I finished my final exams of MBBS in the month of May twenty twenty one, and uh, I started studying for my FMG in the month of June. I purchased an academy in the first week of June itself. and uh, i then made a timetable for myself of how i will go about in the next 6 months in the first 4 months that is till the month of october i made sure that i completed the entire syllabus at least once and then in the month of october and november i made sure that i will just revise this and i'll not do anything new so in the timetable um, every day i uh, kept two subjects one major and one minor and uh, as soon as i studied those subjects and i attended the lectures the live lectures the live sessions that were held every day till the till one day before the exam i made sure that i solved everything together like as soon as the lecture gets over i jump to the mcqs and if i have any doubt i go back to the tutor uh, on the telegram groups or next day in the live class session again and i put the questions to them and i asked them the same question okay great when did you subscribe to an academy you said um uh, may end yes may may end in june first week i think the precise date is around 30th 29th or 30th of may may so how was your journey with an academy what did you like the most about um, the institute the an academy first of all the live classes and secondly the mock test the grand test which you name both of these i loved them secondly the experienced teachers who give a very detailed information on every topic possible and in the live sessions i have always seen that there is this chat box where you can type in as soon as the tutor uh, asks you a question so that competitive scenario it really builds up and boosts up your esteem and motiv- it, it motivates you a lot and you know this entire scenario helps you a lot in your exams like when i was giving my fmg exam on the 12th december last year i th- um, i could see actually that the questions i had attempted or i had written in the chat box i could actually memorize them very well and if they were asked in the if they are asked in the exams i could actually mark the option real fast very nice very good very good and i i think so it was just like a Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. just like a X. It was just like an X-ray. Like I, I could see actually the things happening in front of me. I could remember the entire class. Very nice, very nice. And and uh, the students used to answer. The students, you know, they used to compete to answer. And we always yes, tell. Yes, yes, very true. And we always tell in the classroom that you do answer, even if you make mistakes. That's fine. Yes. But you should always attempt to answer. What I feel is, if you make a mistake, you'll always remember it when you are solving the MCQ. 
and somehow the other that knowledge which you are gaining will be useful when you are when you are looking at the paper you will automatically be able to recollect what you have studied in the class what the teacher has said you know or sometimes the teacher has shouted if a student doesn't answer a particular thing and that sometimes that thing comes in the exams i mean or <laughs> or when they have even committed a silly mistake the teachers right. are all the teachers at an academy are always the first ones to correct you i've always seen this yeah, and yeah, i it's... love them and i love the nature very good it's a team effort and everyone in uh, at an academy yes. yeah everyone at an academy will always you know help you to uh, to succeed help you to answer the things and they will tell you you answer you answer so that you no know, if you make mistakes okay. you'll always correct yourselves fine and just before the exams on the day of the exams how was your strategy like on the day of the exams or just before the exams uh, how was it so just one day before the exam i woke up in the morning and i had made this list from the beginning of my preparation where i had written all those points which i have to like memorize or which i have to see them again which i have to give a look so it consists of mostly anatomy diagrams psm uh, one liners and uh, some fill in the blanks or something like that and even some important mcqs which i keep on uh, which i keep on forgetting or which, which i kept on uh, marking them wrong so in the first 4 to 5 hours in that morning i just made sure that i'll complete the entire uh, list as soon as it got completed i referred to some past paper mcqs and the most important thing is which i want to tell everyone like my friends who will go for the next exam is uh, have a good night sleep at least sleep for 7 to 8 hours before the exam because it, because it can work wonders in the exam you'll be able to think more clearly and you'll be able to memorize and recollect more things yeah that's very that's true it. because because i've seen that's students true. you know they don't sleep during the exams they they overstress very themselves true, yes, and and some of them are very anxious they are not able to sleep but what i always feel is you have I, a good i feel anxious i feel anxiety is a part of the journey from the first day itself there is always that minor degree which just keeps on getting increasing as you yeah, yeah. but you have to believe in yourself as as people always say yeah and yeah, as you yeah. as you also once said in our class that you have to believe in yourself you can study how much ever you want but if you don't believe in yourself you won't be able to succeed yeah true i mean it was it's it's very nice the the way you ans- used to answer and i always used to tell the students all the entire group of uh, the, the students uh, of your batch they have scored really well yes, and and they were really competitive and i i think you had a group you used to discuss you used to interact with yes sir we we had a telegram group of around 15 students and uh, we used to interact every day we used to solve mcqs we used to uh you know sometimes when the studies got to hectic we used to discuss each other's uh, lives also like what are we doing besides studying every day okay. but mostly it was always educational in nature like we were solving tens of mcqs every day and we are also discussing about the mock test the mm-hmm. grand test of an academy we made sure that when we solved the grand test we would come back afterwards to the group and we would see the mcqs which we felt that are difficult and we would discuss them like which chapter does it belong to and from where have we taken or have we left this like that yeah but uh, with this base of yours which is really strong now you will definitely succeed in your forthcoming exams uh, right that is what i feel i i always feel that students who have done this fmg and all who have succeeded have uh, you know they are, they overseed the others because the basics are clear now you just have to put in things here and there yes, and sir. then and then uh, this will really help you to study Yes, sir. But uh, I, also, I would like to thank the An Academy app for giving so good basics. They had a very major role here, and uh, you'd be very happy to know that for my NEET PG preparations. Also, I'm planning to stay with the app. Very good, very good, very good. And any specific message you would give to the learners to who are listening to you? I mean, who will be really motivated um, listening to your talks? Like you are motivated by the teachers, so uh, the students yes, will listen to you. So, yeah. first of all believe in yourself you can achieve anything don't be under the impression that the exam is so difficult we keep on hearing so many times that even this time pass percentage was less every time the fmg pass percentage is less that doesn't mean that you demoralize yourself that i cannot compete in the exam no you can compete in the exam very well just keep on studying every day don't lose that aspect of your life and just believe in yourself secondly time management is very important um uh, 
eight to ten hours of daily studies should be a daily uh, habit for you. See, uh, um, it besides eight to ten hours of daily studying, I must say that MCQ solving is very important because only theory reading wouldn't give you anything. MCQs are a major part of your life. And um, the next thing I would like to say is, whatever the teacher teaches you on that particular day, make sure you read it once or twice after the class. Don't just leave it away and think that okay, I'll read it some other day or some other time. No, that some other time is never going to come. You have to read it then and there itself after the class gets over. And ask the teachers doubts. Their live sessions are very good. They will respond to your doubts there. There and there itself. Yeah, I I I do see yes, this. Yes, live sir. sessions. Live sessions have really helped. It's like you know, it's actually uh, something very similar to face to face class. But taking a live very session true. is also we are we are teaching in such a way that the student will feel that you know <laughs> the students are right, the teacher is right in front of them, and the various. Many three... times I have felt this uh, <laughs> when you were also teaching us anatomy. I remember yeah. in the month of October there were times when I used to think that you were in fr- standing in front of me and you were lecturing me on the board. <laughs> very nice that very was a nice fantastic experience <laughs> so you and i you and all the teachers at an academy love to yes, you know uh, this is a good experience and very nice uh, you being here with us and congratulations to you once again and all the best for your future endeavors we wish you all the best from our entire team at an academy thank you thank, thank you, you so mohit thank you thank, thank you, you so much bye bye bye